Welcome everyone, I'm JP and we have some great games on sale this weekend for the Nintendo Switch. In fact, one of the better indie games I had the opportunity to play last year is on sale at an amazingly low price, marked down 90% to a brand new low. I'm excited to show it off here in the video, but keep in mind that the deal is only good through the weekend, so be sure to jump on it if you've been waiting for a better price. Thanks as always for hanging out, and if you enjoy this type of content, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here, and with that, we'll dive in. Oh, and I apologize for my voice, I definitely caught a cold. Sorry if it's distracting, but hopefully the games will make up for it. Alright, and we'll start off with the hottest deal in my opinion for the weekend, Dust and Neon. This is a twin stick roguelike for one player. It has a download just under 700 megabytes and offers more than 15 hours of action packed gameplay. Now this one is not easy at all so keep that in mind. It does feel good to reach a new area or level, but frustration can set in trying to do so. The game offers more than 2000 different weapons and 1500 special tonics or potions that you can find, plus there is a skill tree as well, so there's a ton of gameplay here and a good bit of variety to how you approach it. Right now it's on sale at an all time low, just $1.99 until the 22nd. Next we have the Gunman Clive HD Collection, which is a package of two side-scrolling shooters with a download around 150 megabytes, and combined the games offer about 3-4 to four hours of gameplay. Now this is an Old West tale of bandits, cowboys, kidnapping ladies, and shootouts. The controls and shooting feel great, the levels and enemy types are varied, plus having both games together is always a bonus. They are a lot of fun, and right now you can pick it up for just $1.99, Mark down 60% matching an all-time low until the 6th. Infinite Beyond the Mind is a 2D action platformer that offers local co-op for two players and the story revolves around two sisters as they take on an evil queen. The difficulty does ramp up rather quickly once you hit the halfway mark or so and the game offers about 5 hours of gameplay on average. The audio and visual design are done really well in this one, and it does a good job of introducing new gimmicks along the way so the game doesn't get stale before you finish. Right now it's on sale for just $1.99, marked down 80% to an all-time low with the deal ending on the 29th, and you'll need a little over 100 megabytes for the install. Lost Words Beyond the Page is a one-player story-driven platform adventure title. It has a pretty hefty download at 6 gigs and should take roughly 5 hours to wrap up. The game is narrated as you play through, and the innovative gameplay mechanic where you use words to help you work your way through the levels, or even through the pages of the book that you're reading, was way more fun than I was expecting. If you've never played this one, it's a hidden gem in my opinion, and right now you should grab it up before the deal ends on the 1st. It's marked down 87% to an all-time low, again at just $1.99. Next up we have Mextermination Force, which is a fast-paced platform shooter available for two players and local co-op. It has a download around 640 megabytes with a main story that will last roughly 4-5 to five hours, but it can get kind of difficult, so you may take a little longer. In this one we have multiple playable characters to add a bit of variety at the start of the game and it pits us against giant bosses one after another until the end. You can actually weaken parts of them or climb up and start working on another weak point all while avoiding a barrage of incoming enemy fire. Right now you can pick this one up for just $1.99, mark down 83% until the 6th. You will need a little over 600 megabytes for the install. Onion Assault is the newest game from the creator of the Gunman, Clive, and Mextermination Force games, as well as a couple other great indie titles here on the Switch. This time around we have a 2D platformer that feels sort of like a blend of Super Mario 2 and the previously mentioned Gunman series. Like with Super Mario 2, you can pick up enemies or catch projectiles and then throw them back, and the game is surprisingly fun. It has a download just under 150 megabytes and gives players a total of 16 different levels to work their way through, each getting a bit harder, and by the end it can be kind of challenging. Right now you can pick this one up for just $1.99, marked down 75% with the deal ending again on the 6th. Rava and the Cyclops Curse is a short single player platformer with an ultra retro look and feel to it. The game gives us 10 levels with different themes and should offer about an hour of gameplay. Now it's not overly difficult, but it can test you at times, so you may get a bit more playtime than that. 
You'll have to solve puzzles and use the proper spells to work through the stages, plus you can acquire secret power-ups or find different companions to assist along the way as well. Right now you can pick this one up for just $1.99, marked down to an all-time low with the deal ending on the 29th, you'll need a little over 200 megabytes for the install. Super Epic The Entertainment War is a single-player 2D action platformer with a download around 870 megabytes, and the main story should last roughly 10 hours or so to wrap up. In this one, we play as a young raccoon with our trusty steed as we explore the offices of this corrupt corporation, taking on a wide variety of enemies, epic bosses, and overcoming the random puzzles that we find along the way. Now, the story itself is pretty comedic, and if you've never played this one, I highly recommend it. Right now, you can pick it up at an all-time low, just $1.99, with the deal ending on the 5th. Up next, we have Super Punch Patrol, which is a great beat-em-up here on the console. It has local co-op for two players, and of course, that really unique pen and ink art style. The game has a small download at only 150 megabytes, and the main story will last roughly 4-5 to five hours. The combat is fun and brutal, and again, you have multiple playable characters for a bit of variety. If you enjoy a good beat-em-up and a good deal, this is a win-win, and it's on sale until the 5th, marked down 60% at just $1.99, matching an all-time low. They Bleed Pixels is a pretty tough single-player platformer that offers more than 10 hours of gameplay and comes in with a download at just 325 megabytes. Now this one, as I mentioned, on standard difficulty is just absolutely brutal, but if you stick with it and master the combat, it is a wildly fun time. There's even a somewhat interesting story being told as well. Now you do have to be a bit more patient and plan your moves in order to make it through the later stages, but if you're up for the challenge, it's on sale for just $1.99, marked down 87% with the deal ending on the 8th. Alright everyone, here are a few other great deals to check out while you're already on the eShop. This is just like in the movies. This could be very dangerous. The men in red shirts are notoriously lucky. <laughs> Alright everyone, that wraps up today's video. There are definitely more deals out there and we'll have more videos coming your way. So hit that bell so you don't miss the notification. Take care everyone.